15 minutes after the hour, and if you're a new listener, a new viewer to our Market Day report, first of all, welcome. You're in for a treat here as a, one of our analysts and, and partners, more of that, uh, is Barry Acock, joining us every Thursday at this time. He is president, uh, founder of Ag Explorer, and talking about nutrients, among other things here, as we work through winter and into spring here now. Barry, you have been a traveling man. I guess there's a song about that, but certainly you've had a chance to visit quite a lot of areas along the south. Is that right? Well, Mark, good morning to everyone out there in rural America. I hadn't talked to you lately. No. It's good, to, good to talk to you. Mm -hmm. Yes, I've been down in God's country of Louisiana. I was really impressed with Monroe, Louisiana area. I've got to see a lot of that territory down there this past week. Exactly. Now, you uh, shared some pictures we want to share with our viewers. Those of you tuning in on the radio, uh, Barry has some pictures here. Uh, looks like uh, somebody there is a big LSU fan and maybe with the extension service. Talk about that. That's a new good friend of mine. Brad Brown, um, he's a big farmer in that area, and he's a cutting-edge farmer. He, he he does things right. Yeah, very good. All right, talk about that. It looks like that soil behind him uh, looks pretty dry. we got a close-up there. It looks like they could use a little bit of moisture at when this picture was taken. Well, you know, the cotton boom is on in almost every cotton-producing state. Even Kansas and Oklahoma are producing a lot of cotton this year. But Brad had 400 acres last year, and he's having 1,900 acres of cotton this year. And they already had some cotton up, which is a lot different than here in the Missouri Boot Hill. We're just now planting cotton. Well, we're trying to start planting it. Yeah, exactly. Rain. A couple of more shots here that uh, things looking pretty green uh, early in this growing season. And just still in Louisiana? Yes, I was talking to, I think you had a picture of George and Jonathan Young, ag pilots there in, around Monroe, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. They were telling me that this time last year they had a 30-inch, 32-inch flood of rain. So it's a difference between uh, how, what a year makes. Wow. George and Jonathan were telling me that last year it was flooding everywhere when they were trying to get their crops in, had to replant corn three times. And, Mark, you would not believe how beautiful the corn crop is in Louisiana. There was some corn knee-high. That's what I was going to say. And you've got a picture to prove that here. There's a fertilizer there. But right there, there's a nice close-up picture. Folks that are tuning in on RFD TV can certainly see. Those of you on radio, you're exactly right. You're approaching knee-high there. When was that taken? How recent? That was the uh, day before yesterday. How I was in Louisiana. I got back last night. Uh, looks like some you know, cloudy sky, but a, little, a lot of blue up there. And uh, that, that corn from that distance looks pretty good shape. Well, it's amazing how the corn crop looked and the cotton's off to a good start. They're still planting cotton, and they they got some rice going in, and soybeans were already up. So, like I said, what a difference a day makes. What a difference a day year. makes, and, yeah, a difference that a, a year makes as well. Uh, had a chance to enjoy some of the hospitality down there as well. <laughs> Interesting, you, you were sharing a picture here uh, that you wanted to uh, talk about some, uh, I'm not sure you took part of the crawfish. Did you do that? I, I put a dent in them while I was down there. <laughs> I ate very well while I was in Louisiana, but I don't know if that picture's showing right now because I don't have them in front yes, of me. Yes, it but sure that's is. our sales rep from Ag Explorer from Louisiana, Chris Turberville. Mm -hmm. Him and I actually, I flew down there and I drove back, and we actually brought 300 pounds of crawfish back with us. So anybody in the Parma, Missouri area, Chris is cooking right now. <laughs> we do have a picture of Chris right there here as well. So uh, again, and back in your area, you're back home for a time. You're going to be in the Dakotas uh, when you talk to us next week. Is that right? I'll be, in, I'll be in North Dakota. Looking forward to being in North Dakota with some customers next week. And I'm, I'll be coming to you from North Dakota in an airport next week. Very so good. Well, and there could be a whole lot different. They, they're, as you know, they're fighting a lot of mud up there, Barry, and ponding. And, and so you're going to see a little, lot different agriculture as you head north. I'm going the south I can go to the furthest north. I'll be on the Canadian line, so I'm looking forward to the different extremes there. I bet you you are. How can folks learn more about Ag Explorer, Barry, and all the things that, all the information you have for them? Well, Mark, they can call us here at the office or they can go to our website at www.agexplorer.com. Very good. And again, that's Ag Explorer, X P L O R E, ag.com. Barry, safe travels. Thanks for the information and the great pictures today. Thank you very much. Talk to you next week. Barry Acock from Ag Explorer. Take a break. We'll come back. I'll get you caught up in the grain and livestock trade. We continue after this.